Hello, everybody! It's all! It is me, Takoriyashi, your palm tree friend. And welcome, everybody! Hope you're doing well. Lots of things have been happening in Princess Connect recently connected to story events. We're returning story events and we have been given new main story up here. Chapter 3-3, three, three, which you need to have cleared stage 64-6 in normal quest mode to unlock, which I haven't. But, as you can see, we have been introduced a new character, Kururu, who opens likes of bento boxes and has heterochromia. And that is all I can tell you about Kururu at the moment, because I haven't done the stages to unlock the story event. What else has been, <laughs> has been happening? We have got a new side story that has been permanently added to this side story event down here which is very sus very sus indeed illegal illegal edo medical records dr mitsuki's examination room well yes would you go to dr mitsuki's examination room maybe she's got no medical insurance and you've got no alternative but i don't know why she needs that massive sword and if you, don't, if you don't like needles, I think I will stay away from her examination room as well. Anyway, from this event, Ninon and Mitsuki Shads can be ground out. But what we are here to look at mainly is, if it will load, there we go, the new camp mode story event here, which the Camp girls, Yukari and Aoi, have very recently got their unique equipment. So this story event, enjoy and refresh, Bumpy Girls Camp. Yes, I don't know what parts of them is bumpy. Maybe you do know which part of them is bumpy, but whatever. This, is, this story event, concentrate, this story event has returned, which will allow you to get the free-to-play Aoi Camp unit as well as Yukari Shaz on top of that. Now, this Yukari, uh, this Aoi, sorry, free to play Aoi that you get from this event has a growth orb with her. But unlike the last um, event that we had, where we think we got the growth orb with the character, you have to get to this, this fifth section of this metal gotcha to get her um, growth orb. So, if you do get her, don't put anything into her, grind the event out and get this growth orb for Aoi. I would suggest probably skipping all the way to 5 because this is the most important thing to get. There is another level 215 one there as well. So, bear that buried in mind, we will go and have a look at Aoi camp and see what she can do and then whether she's even, well you might as well put the growth orb into her but is she worth right there at the bottom here investing any more into her oh my goodness me i don't think i have that many characters here we go right at the bottom we have got aoi camp who is well looking for more friends unfortunately she's got friends she's got yukari and she's got doom wearing the camouflage in her armor i don't i I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, let's have a look at her skills. Her Union Burst, which is called Camping Blast. Now, the only blast that happens when you're camping is when you have a bit of an accident with your cooking stove thing. But, yeah, I don't know. The Camping Blast, it inflicts medium physical damage to all enemies and inflicts large physical damage to all enemies in range. So, this is looking like an AoE attack character, physical attack character. Here, skill one, push shot, which inflicts large physical damage to all enemies and moderate physical damage to enemies in range. Now, this AoE camp has just recently been given a unique equipment. If we go over here and have a little look at it there, it is called Solo Camber Crossbow. And when you 
put this crossbow on here. Here, skill one becomes plus push shot plus, which then becomes medium physical damage to all enemies and large physical damage to enemies in front. It also stuns all of the enemies that are in range. So the damage has gone up and a stun to a multiple target stun has been added to her skill one, which sounds very good. This is looking like a PVP unit. Excuse me. Then have a look here at her skill two, Precious Coffee. Now I didn't know coffee was this powerful, but apparently her Precious Coffee deploys a physical and magical damage nullification barrier to herself. If this was to the whole team, she would be probably rated much, much higher, but it is only to her. Still worth having. Um, it also increases her TP. Now this is the first action that Aoi will perform when she enters the battlefield. It's always annoying when you're going in to a PvP fight, an arena fight, and your DPS character gets sniped. Somehow they get picked off, and all you are left with is tanks and supports. And you know, you've not got the damage to get through and you end up getting stalled out. Well, this alley might be a solution because the first thing she does is put up this barrier, which will negate some damage. So maybe that first hit that would have sniped her will not snipe her and then she can do the damage and your team will do much better. Anyway, that's something to be tested because there is the six star alley who was ranked quite good for PVP. Now I'm wondering if this Aoi camp might become a better option for PvP than the 6th star Aoi because in her skill 1 with the unique equipment on she stuns multiple targets as opposed to the 6th star Aoi that only stuns the one target so I don't think I don't think the tier list that I look at has been updated it's a free to play character so maybe that's made a bit too optimistic but you never know. Anyway, finally, Aoi Camp's EX skill, Bochi Camper style. Bochi the Rock style, or Alone and Isolated Camper style, which is what Bochi means. Poor little Aoi is um, excluded and alone and um, camping on her own in a tent with friend, the uh, vlog. We all need to get Aoi some more friends. That's, so, anyway. This EX skill is an EX skill like most others, which will moderately increase her physical attack, and at 5 star will greatly increase her physical attack. Now there we go, that was Aoi Camp, who is now able to be ground out. If you didn't already have her, this is obviously a returning character, so people who had an account for many years may already have her. If you're a global refugee, this is your first attempt, first attempt, your first chance to grind her out. I will be putting the skill orb on her when I get her and maybe she will be handy in PvP. I imagine most of you have already got a big team now, big box when you've got plenty of premium options to put in PvP teams so maybe this Aoi will not really help at all but we will see. I am curious to see if she will be better than the 6 star Aoi with that multi-target stun. That being said, we also especially a global refugee, you're going to need lots of characters to beat EX4 and EX5 if we haven't done already, I certainly haven't. Because she's doing multiple target damage, she can be thrown into another team. So you can start building more and more and more teams with her and with other characters and maybe we can finally get through EX4, which is where I am at the moment, them twin knights. So there we go. Thank you for watching everybody. I am Takoriyashi, your poultry friend, and I will see you all again for another video. Bye 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 bye. Hey, hey.